to the treehouse, y'all. I'm getting loaded, ready to go on some trips right now. Happy New Year to you, by the way. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I can hardly contain my excitement. We're going to be doing some flock talk today and going through some gear, hopefully getting in my hands the newest version of uh, our bait casting reel from Guggen Squad working with Ketchko. But I think that I have a very strange situation going on at the Rackley Roost. Uh, and I might have a very rare chicken. And just the other day, I was surprised. I kind of knew it was coming, but I was surprised to see that we have um, some new egg layers. So usually chickens start laying their eggs after about 16 weeks uh, from being born out of an egg themselves. So 16 to 20 weeks, somewhere around there. And we're there right now. So we just started getting some eggs. We've only had one chicken that has been mature laying eggs. That's my, my naked necker. And she lays a little brown egg, but she's very consistent. She's a great chicken. Here she is right here. Hey girl, you don't look like much, but you're actually a pretty good egg layer. And the other kinds of chickens that we have, we have some ornamental chickens, these frizzles right here, the white ones. Very fluffy, cute, but uh, you know, they're not, they're not great <laughs> egg layers. This one right here is like really docile. She'll let you just pick her up. Um, actually sort of mean though, she'll, she'll square off with you at times and sort of attack you. But anyway, that's my little rooster version right there. He's starting to crow a little bit, but he's, he's tiny. He's a little micro cock, uh, pretty interesting. And then I've got this Polish, which bless her little heart. She, she doesn't even know when you're like walking behind her. Uh, she's always scared because she's got a giant umbrella on top of her head. She doesn't know what's going on half the time. Colonel Sanders, he uh, he got it a little rough, and he's been ousted. He's been ousted by Mr. Penny. Mr. Penny has been beating him up, kicking him while he's down, and Mr. Penny has now uh, basically put himself into the number one rooster position. Mr. Penny, he's very mean. So the other two kinds of chickens that are left here are our prairie bluebell eggers, which I have one brown one and I have one blue one. And they lay blue eggs. They are basically like um, uh, Americana chickens or uh, they're properly called Easter eggers. And I know those lay blue eggs. Excited because we are getting some blue eggs now. Check that out, y'all. Look at that. How cool is that? But then I saw that we're actually getting two. And this one on the left is a whopper. We're getting some whopper blue eggs. I said, okay, great. The bluebellers are laying at the same time. There she is. I know she is laying. But the chicken that is behind her right now, that black one, it's one of my favorite chickens. She's an Australorp. And I suspect she is laying a blue egg. Here's why. You can tell when chickens are about to lay eggs or are laying eggs, their, their mood kind of changes. See this blue one, this blue beller that's in there right now? She hardly ever made a noise. Now, uh, she has got a turtle head poking out. She is squawking all the time when she needs to lay an egg. Her sister in here, which is the dark one, she never makes a noise. She's still very flighty. I cannot get close to her. She actually scratched my dad all up in the face one day. She's just, she won't, she won't let you get close to her at all. And when they start laying eggs, they almost will kind of like squat to you. See, she's mega flighty. And she never goes in the nesting box. Who's in there right now? The Australorp and the Bluebell. Now yesterday, I watched three chickens fighting over one nesting box and it was our naked necker who lays a brown egg. I know her egg exactly. It was the Australorp that was in that nesting box for probably an hour. And then there was the Bluebell, which they both were sitting in there for a while. But I never saw the other black Bluebell go in there. So we have three chickens that I saw. We have two blue eggs one brown egg. You may say, why is that weird? All right, chickens, get out of the way. Get out of the way. So you may be saying, why is that weird? Why do you think that's 
rare. Well, because Australorp chickens aren't supposed to lay blue eggs. I was confused. I had to look this up and they lay medium-sized brown eggs. They're awesome chickens, by the way. If you're looking to get into chickens, I wish I had more of them. So it would be exceptionally rare if I had an Australorp chicken that's supposed to lay brown eggs that's laying a blue egg. Now either that bluebell chicken is laying two eggs that are blue and the Australorp is just hanging out in there thinking about laying egg, but actually doesn't. Or we have a very rare chicken that's supposed to lay brown eggs that is laying blue eggs. If this is true and word gets out, think about all the chicken breeders that will be coming to me wanting my prize Australorp chicken that's supposed to lay brown eggs that lays blue eggs. I may start a whole nother breeding revolution of big blues. Call them big blues, baby. I'm sure it'll make me rich. So that's why I'm very excited. I've actually got to do a little work on both rigs here today, getting ready for some trips with the camper, with the silver bullet. So we're gonna be hanging out outside here and when we see that the Australorp is going in there or the bluebell, we're gonna monitor. We're gonna see what is, what is coming out of their rears. Okay, girls, now I'm just gonna be coming in here. I'm just gonna leave the one brown egg and just take the blues. Just kind of sneak those out of there. What are you doing? You don't lay eggs. Get out of there. Not blue. She seems she's getting real defensive of her spot. She's the only chicken in there right now. If she comes out and there's two blue eggs, which would be rare, but she just started laying, maybe, maybe she's got some extras in there. She's kind of backed up. Gotta do a little truck camping, so I'm checking to see that our propane system here is working. I actually haven't broken this out in a while. There she blows. I like using the truck for camping when I've got the boat. Obviously I can't carry both, but this truck bed, having the cap on it, it's basically a mobile camper. I've even slept inside of the, the boat before. You know, with a boat cover on, pretty much got a tent. So, trying to go as minimalistic as, as possible here. And I usually carry, I carry this box all hunting season and fishing season really in the truck. And it's an eight inch skillet, you never know when you're going to cook up some crispies, but also just, you know, cooking up all the deer meat, stuff like that I carry with me and then carry the spices and just a couple of on the go freeze dried meals. And my stuff to make coffee and tea, of course. She should have laid an egg by now, so let's go see. I think she's out. I think she's out. She's out. So we, got blue eggs. we got one blue egg in there, honey. So we do have a 100% confirmed blue egg that just came out of our bluebell. That's a nice big one. So as far as I know, we don't have a bluebell that is laying two blue eggs at once. What's going on over here, kids? What are you doing to the chickens? Don't throw, don't throw their feed right there. Oh, kids. There's my little buddy running. My little buddy running to me. Hey, partner. Got a jacket on like you're ready to go on, on an adventure. Yeah. Do you see yourself? Do you see it? Do you see it? <laughs> Do you see yourself? You're vlogging. You're vlogging right now. Yeah. Doing a little vlog with Pop. Uh, he just saw me carrying out some, some money bags. So he's 
He's very interested. What's going on? What is in those bags, Dad? We got a lot of new stuff launching this year, guys. I'm pumped about it. We've got a lot of new plastics that are coming about in February. Probably the most crazy thing we're gonna have coming this year is our, our bait casting reel. So one of the biggest complaints that we've had collectively on these reels is the dial placement, which creates a, a little node that sticks out the side of the reel just a little too far. I'm talking a couple millimeters, but when you're fishing with a reel all day and you've got just a little uh, bump on the side of that reel, you know, it creates, it can create a hot spot. So it's been kind of a challenge to get in there, rearrange how the the brake system is gonna, gonna fit in uh, and then be very ergonomical, which is what you want. So hopefully we're gonna see that version of that reel today. Other things that are really exciting, we got the happy trailer, small swim baits, we got a lizard, we got a love grub. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of things happening and we have new boxes. Redid the boxes uh, with Bass Mafia where it's a one snapper just totally clear lid on the top so you can see what's in there and then it opens completely all the way. Some of the other ones they would only open about three quarters and that one big lid, just the whole thing was redesigned and it's, it's all stackable, it's really nice. Kids are climbing up a giant rope right now so go assist here. You okay Emmy? You need help getting down? You got it, okay. Emmy I need your help solving a mystery. We need to find out what color eggs are coming out of our Australarp over there. Okay, I can check. She's clucking in there. She's got the other cluckers going. It's happening. It's happening, y'all. Got big blue. Got big blue on the way. I know it's happening. She's excited. They only, they only do this. When there's like a big, it's like a ceremonial big egg pop, you know, like, you're getting them first eggs out, hallelujah. Like, they, that's what they're saying. They're, they're, they're going crazy. She's out. She's out. Let's see what we got in here. Big moment. That's a blue baby. Look at that. Oh my gosh, actually it's it's almost kind of greenishly blue. Check that out. That is so awesome. A black ostrilorp that lay, that lays bluishly green eggs. I swear the one yesterday was more blue than this. This is so strange, I don't know why. This could be a game changer here at the treehouse. All right, I want all the skeptics to look at this chicken. Now I bought this as a, a sexed laying black ostrilore. It does have a bluish ear that I'm just now noticing. So let's see if I can kind of get close to her a little bit. If you see right behind her eyes is her ear. And you can see on the on the blue beller, it's real obvious. They've got like a bluishly green ear. And they say whatever color lobe they've got, or whatever color that piece of skin is, is what color eggs they typically will lay. But this is this is unique. Okay, girl, I'm gonna be taking good care of you. You might be my golden goose. Now, the other thing that I'm really curious about, especially after digging through all my tackle all day and getting ready to go fishing, is I wanna, I wanna check out these new reels. I wanna put them in my hand. It's gonna be a, one of those things right away. I'm gonna put it in my hand and know, like, whew, all right, that feels much better. So far, there has not been a durability issue. It's just been, uh, there's a throw issue, which I'll get into later, and then just a feel. So, let's see. Yeah, my buddy said he'd meet me in about an hour, so I'm gonna head that way, grab them, 
and then we're going to take a gander. Hey man, you got the goods? Mondo Optics case here. I've got some A rigs for you to test. Oh, I like some the way you've packaged that. Extra. Very nice. Oh, shoot. I didn't know you had greens, too. Oh, okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, that okay. new side plate on there for the you. New plate on the side, ladies and gentlemen. And then, uh, oh, man. I know you're going to go visit John, so you might throw some big things. So I do have a muscle as well. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, so we got a green and gold muscle. Geared up a little eight to one on those for you. There they are. There they are. Oh man, that is feeling good, dude. Yeah, I got go tos for both of you muscles. Um, there's a one green and one gold, so you can go touch it, and then a reaction green and gold. It feels so much better. Way better. Yeah, way better. These are actually yeah. production samples, so okay, we're getting to real deal time. It's about to go real. live. All right, yeah. well, we'll get them wet. Thank you, thank you. Chickens are getting into the roost, going to bed. And I am just tinkering, just holding. So this is a previous model. And you can see that, that little edge right there. And I know it doesn't look like much. It's a few millimeter difference, but it's a big difference in the hand. It feels really good now. And we changed up a couple of other things on here, <clears throat> including the throw. Uh, the throw is basically how far that thumb bar, the release, uh, travels. And this one was just, I thought, a little long. You know, it really dipped down there just a little too far. So this one's shorter, just quicker, I guess you could say. So it feels good. Now I just need to get some line on it. Updated graphics as well. Looking ready to go wind on them. Of course, I'm gonna put some line on there and, and throw those reels around. And if I see the opportunity, I'm gonna definitely get after some bass. But I'm mainly going after crappie. I need to get some crappie for the freezer. Deer season hasn't been that great. And then also, I'm trying to go after a trophy crappie, three pounder, this is when you do it. Uh, so I'm loaded. For both chickens are going on to the roost for the night and i'm going to sign it off guys i know there's some chicken freaks out there let me know in the comments what you think is going on with my my ostrilorp i really don't know if it's a true black ostrilorp or if it's a a bluish mix i'm not really sure uh one thing i have noticed is it doesn't have a, a full comb like the other chickens which is sort of a um characteristics of um eggers uh easter eggers <laughs> all hens are eggers uh so there is something going on there but i just don't know if you're if you're a chicken freak let me know in the comments and thank you guys for hanging out with me here at the treehouse today and i'll see you back in the great outdoors on the next one god bless you see you soon